in the previous video I'd mentioned that I had a problem with one of the old Hornby ferry vans so I fixed that what was wrong with it was the axle the moving axle on the bottom was jammed inside the hole so that was an easy fix that was what's called the derailment so I took the opportunity to not only weather it but also to try and upgrade it somewhat a little bit now here's the original style of van and from my research what I discovered was that this model is based on a 1971 prototype in this livery the one that says through to the continent by British Railways now it's a, it's it's microscopically 0.8 of a millimeter uh, too narrow it's nothing that I, I wouldn't even bother widening I know some purists do uh, but a uh, modelers speak very highly of this model considering it was released you know almost 50 years ago 50 years ago I think or close to it so I just I weathered it with Citadel Games Workshops paints heavily watered down with Tamina thinner and I picked out certain areas I picked out the handles on the doors and the straps on the vents which are white now the main difference between the two my the upgraded model well the, the harmony model and the uh, the prototype is the harmony model has this ribbed roof with the mold injection thing here on the top which is quite unsightly so that was a very easy cosmetic removal i just literally sanded the roof down and painted a gray as per some photographs that i'd seen and I also, I don't know if I can get in close to this here, let me try. You see on the door handle here, there's a plastic lug that allows the, it gives it that play factor, you know, it's a toy. And that is, helps someone, that helps the person slide the door open. You can actually see it better now that I've opened this plastic, plastic lug here. That's not on the prototype, that was quite easily removed. As you can see here so the door looks like how the door should look in a real model so I think that came out quite good I'm quite happy with that so you know it just goes to show you Hornby get a lot of stick for their models being not particularly prototypical and yet they produced this one here that was for its time a pretty sensational model with a bit of weathering look how I brought it to life you know a I toned down the plastic, I didn't re repaint anything, I just toned things down, just basically washes. The only thing I painted was the roof grey and bottom, which I painted a kind of a mixture of grey and brown, the, the underframe. So, you know, there it is. And I put the steel wheels on it, and it's, 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 it's fine now. It runs really well, so. You know, compared to the Rapidio version of this, which I think costs something like 40, 40 euros, I think, here. This cost me a few euros on a sale in a, at, a, at a train show, and you have something that's nearly good. So you don't have to spend a fortune in this hobby, you just don't.